Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is the first official video from the new Florida recording compound. Uh, we're still not done yet. There's more work to do here to get things set up and, and ready, but we do have lights, we do have a camera, and we do have action. And what I'm gonna show you in today's video is the power of Etch, how everything is coming together. We have new JavaScript capabilities. Of course, we have a full-blown selector system that continues to improve. And I wanna just show it off today because we're gonna create a dynamic tabs component. And I want you to see how, even if we don't know JavaScript, how we can use like something as simple as Grok or ChatGPT or, or Claude to really help us nail this very fast. I'm, I'm thinking like in less than five or six minutes, okay? So let's go ahead and just jump in and let's see what we can get done. I have uh, this Shad CN component, the tabs component pulled up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this tabs component essentially to have Grok use this as its um, reference, okay? So I'm gonna go into Grok real quick and I'm gonna say, I want to build a tabs component, component with HTML vanilla, vanilla CSS and vanilla JavaScript. I want you to use this as ref as a reference. Make sure, oh wait, no, I want to also give it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it some other, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go down to the docs, okay? So there's this documentation link that I also wanna give it. Here is additional documentation, okay? And then I'm gonna come down here and say, here are some additional additional requirements, all right? One, use BIM methodology for the selectors, okay? Two, I want to um, use vanilla CSS nesting uh, to put all the styling under the, under the parent selector, okay? Uh, I want you to maintain all accessibility requirements, including um, uh, left, right, keyboard, navigation, et cetera, okay? And um, I want you to, well, let's just, let's just start with that, okay? Let's just see what gets spit back, okay? And then we're gonna hop into Etch and we're gonna see if we can make this come to life. All right, there's our CSS right there. What I'm always gonna do is I'm gonna import the HTML first. And we can see here that we have a div. I don't need the body or any of that stuff. So I'm just gonna, okay, nice. Um, tab two, tab three. Okay. That's not working, <laughs> which is, uh, that, that should be interesting. Okay. Um, the HTML looks correct. So I'm just going to grab the HTML. You've got your tabs content, tab content two. This is, uh, tabs. Hold on. Content one. Did it okay. That, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Let's go into etch. And what I'm going to do is just add a flex div to the page. It doesn't really matter because I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'm going to paste in all of the content that I was given. And there's our tabs right here. And look how it actually is already labeling this stuff for you in the structure panel. And look how the selectors are already attached. Etch is doing all of the parsing work to take this HTML and say, okay, here's all the selectors that should be attached, here's the names that should be in the structure panel, so on and so forth, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a section because I actually wanna put those tabs into a container so that they are contained, excellent. Now we need to import the CSS, okay? So I'm gonna go back over to Grok real quick. I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna find the CSS that is supposed to go into the tabs and I'm gonna hop over and I am going to find the tabs selector right here, which is already attached for me. And I'm gonna throw that CSS in there. Now, do I want a max width of 600 pixels? No, I don't. Um, I actually want a, uh, I actually want a width of 100% on this, okay? Um, let's look at the list. Okay, that's all going straight across. That's all perfect, fine and dandy. Okay, now I, I can do all the CSS styling I want. The point is, um, can I make this actually functional? And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go hide show panels. I'm gonna turn on our new JavaScript editor, which attaches JavaScript at the element level so that your JavaScript can live with the elements that it actually belongs to and only get loaded if those elements are present on the page. All right, so now I'm gonna hop over to Grok and I'm gonna say, all right, what do you have for me, Grok, in terms of these, this JavaScript, okay? So I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna get everything that's in between the script tags. Again, I haven't looked at any of this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I do know I'm gonna attach this JavaScript to these tabs. And I'm just gonna go take a look at what we've got on the front end. 
And I'm going to see right away that this is not working. Now, it was not working in the editor either, like in the, in the Grok editor, in the preview little thing. I don't know why I'm calling it an editor. Um, I can see all content at the same time and nothing happens when I click the tabs, okay? So let's just go ahead and see uh, what Grok says about this. Sounds like it isn't functioning correctly, okay? Um, it's going to rewrite it real quick. Now the CSS, I doubt is going to change much. If it does, that's totally fine. It's totally okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Okay. I'm, I'm mainly, oh, look, we have a working version here. Um, and it actually has the correct keyboard navigation. All of that looks good. I, I think this is probably mostly a JavaScript issue. Let's bring this down. Okay. Let's go back into etch let's just replace the javascript and i think we have a working version already okay and then there we go there's tab one tab two tab three and it's just ready to be styled but like i came in i mean i want you guys to oh you know what yeah this is correct this is correct you get your left right keyboard navigation okay it, look it's all it's all it's all working i mean let's go back to let's refresh the page here so there's tab one, and I'm looking down at the aria role equals tab, okay? It's got the tab indexes set properly. It's got the aria hidden false, and I would think when I, yeah, see? It's, it's going to switch the aria hidden labels when I uh, have a certain tab visible. Th this is... This is the ability. Now, let's just recap real quick. I'm already done, okay? W was that less than five minutes? I think with, the, with our... We had, we had one little hiccup, and then with my intro and everything, that's, le that's less than five minutes, Okay. Um, let's take a look at what happened here. I pasted HTML, etch parsed the HTML into blocks, okay? And then what it did is it attached the selectors, all of the proper selectors that are required. If I came down to the tabs list, there's the tabs list. And these are just sitting here ready for me. Like I can style it all at the parent level. I can come to each individual child and I can do it because all of, look, panel one, it's even got the ID on there for each panel, panel two ID. Panel three ID, it's got all of the uh, HTML attributes on here. And then I t attached the JavaScript to this element. Next thing I could do is componentize this. Um, and I have an encapsulated thing that I can now use across my website, like dynamic tabs, just like that. Vibe coded, essentially, dynamic tabs, making sure all the accessibility requirements are there. But look how quickly that came together. There is no other environment for WordPress that is that is doing this right. This is this is pretty this is pretty wild stuff. You have to admit this is this is pretty wild stuff, and it's just in its infancy. This is getting better and better and better. What you are going to be able to do with Edge and what we're talking about behind the scenes, um, it's just uh, it's going to be very fun. It's going to be very 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 fun. Anyway, I want I want to make a short video for you. That's it. That's it. Um, drop your comments below. Drop likes on this video if you love it. HWP.com, baby. Okay. Peace.